What if I told you that right in the midst of your deepest struggles, God's unexpected blessings are waiting to transform your life? Have you ever felt like giving up only to discover that God had a miraculous plan unfolding just around the corner? Today, I invite you to join me as we explore a message of hope and divine intervention. Because no matter how hopeless things may seem, God's blessings are closer than you think. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse is a reminder that God has a plan for each of us. Even when we can't see the path ahead, He is working behind the scenes for our good. Think about that promise for a moment. God, the creator of the universe, has a specific plan for your life. It's not a vague idea or a distant possibility. It's a detailed and personal plan designed for your prosperity and well-being. God's plans are filled with hope, not despair. They aim to lift you up, not tear you down. When life feels overwhelming and it seems like there is no way out, remember that God's promise is a beacon of hope. His plans are meant to give you a future filled with possibilities. You might not see it now, but God is already ahead, preparing the way for you. Consider the story of Joseph in the Bible. He was sold into slavery by his own brothers, and later imprisoned unjustly. Despite these hardships, Joseph remained faithful to God. In the end, he became a ruler in Egypt and saved many lives during a famine. What seemed like a series of misfortunes was actually part of God's grand plan for Joseph's life. Joseph's story reminds us that God's plans are always for our good, even when the journey seems difficult. Moreover, in Psalm 37 verses 23 to 24, we are told, The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. This means that God is not only planning our path, but also guiding our steps along the way. Even if we make mistakes or face setbacks, He is there to support us and help us get back on track. Understanding this promise also means trusting that God's plans are better than our own. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 advises, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. When we rely on God's wisdom rather than our own, we open ourselves to the incredible plans He has for us. So, whenever doubt creeps in, remember Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Let it be a constant reminder that God's plans for you are good, filled with hope and a bright future. Embrace this promise, hold it close to your heart, and trust that God is working everything out for your good. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 tells us, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Sometimes, we want our problems solved right away, but God's timing is perfect. He knows when we are ready for the blessings He has in store for us. Consider the waiting period for Abraham and Sarah. God promised them a son, but they waited for many years before Isaac was born. During that time, they learned to trust God's promise and His timing. Their story shows that waiting on God is not wasted time. It is a period of growth and preparation. In your own life, you may face delays and detours. These moments can be frustrating and disheartening. But remember that God sees the bigger picture. Like a master weaver, He is intricately working all things together for your good, even when you cannot see it. Trusting in God's timing means believing that He knows best and that His plans for you are far greater than anything you could plan for yourself. When you find yourself in a season of waiting, stay patient and keep your faith. Reflect on Psalm 27 verse 14, which says, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. This verse encourages you to remain strong and courageous, trusting that God will act in His perfect time. Additionally, Embrace the lessons and growth that come during the waiting period. Often, it is in these times that we draw closer to God, deepen our faith, 
and develop qualities like patience, perseverance, and trust. Remember that God's delays are not His denials. They are divine pauses meant to prepare you for His perfect plans. Trusting in God's timing also involves surrendering your own plans and expectations. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 advises, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Let go of the need to control every aspect of your life, and submit to God's greater wisdom and timing. So, during those times, when you feel like things are not moving fast enough, or you are stuck in a difficult situation, take heart. God is working behind the scenes, and His timing is always perfect. Your breakthrough is coming, and when it arrives, you will see how beautifully God has orchestrated everything for your good. Romans 8 verse 28 reassures us, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Every challenge and obstacle is part of our journey. They shape us, strengthen us, and prepare us for the blessings to come. Think of your life as a journey. On this journey, there will be mountains and valleys, sunny days and stormy nights. Each step you take, whether easy or difficult, is part of God's grand plan for you. Sometimes, it may feel like you're walking through a desert with no end in sight. But remember, even in the desert, God provided manna from heaven for the Israelites. He never leaves you without what you need to keep moving forward. Your journey might include moments of doubt and fear. You might face setbacks and disappointments. But each of these experiences is molding you, refining you like gold in a fire. God is using every part of your journey to build your character, increase your faith, and draw you closer to Him. Embracing the journey means trusting that God is in control, even when the road is rough. It means looking for lessons in every situation and being open to growth. When you face difficulties, ask yourself, what is God teaching me through this? How can this experience make me stronger? Remember, God promises in Isaiah 43 verse 2, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. No matter where your journey takes you, God is always by your side, guiding and protecting you. So, embrace your journey with confidence. Know that each step you take is bringing you closer to God's purpose for your life. Trust that He is working everything out for your good, even when it's hard to see. Keep your eyes on Him and let His love and strength carry you through every part of your journey. In Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, we are reminded, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer is our direct line to God. It keeps us connected and strengthens our faith. Prayer is more than just asking God for help. It's a conversation with our Heavenly Father. It's a time to express our gratitude, our hopes, and our fears. When we pray, we are reminded that we are not alone. God is with us, listening to every word we say. Sometimes, we might feel like our prayers are not being answered. But remember, God always hears us. He answers in His own time and in his own way, Isaiah 65 verse 24 tells us, Before they call I will answer. While they are still speaking I will hear. This verse reassures us that God is always listening, even when we don't see immediate results. Staying faithful in prayer also means being persistent. In Luke 18 verse 1, Jesus taught his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Just like the persistent widow in the parable, we should keep praying, trusting that God will respond. Moreover, prayer changes us. It brings us closer to God and aligns our hearts with His will. James 5 verse 16 says, 
The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Our prayers have the power to bring about change, not just in our circumstances, but also within us. In addition, prayer brings peace. When we bring our worries and fears to God, He gives us peace in return. This peace is different from what the world offers. It's a deep, abiding peace that comes from knowing that God is in control. As we continue to pray, this peace guards our hearts and minds, keeping us steady and calm even in the midst of storms. So, stay faithful in prayer. Make it a daily habit. Pour out your heart to God and listen for His voice. Trust that He hears you and believe that He is working in ways you cannot see. Through prayer, you will find strength, peace, and the assurance that God's unexpected blessings are on their way. Sometimes, God's blessings come in small, unexpected ways. Matthew 6 verse 26 says, Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Even in the smallest details, God's provision is evident. Think about the little moments in your day that bring a smile to your face, a kind word from a friend, a beautiful sunset, or a warm cup of coffee on a chilly morning. These are not coincidences. They are small reminders of God's love and care for you. When we learn to see God's hand in these everyday blessings, our hearts become more attuned to His presence in our lives. Consider the story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19. After a great victory, Elijah felt alone and afraid. He expected God to appear in a dramatic way, but instead, God revealed Himself in a gentle whisper. This teaches us that sometimes God's presence is most powerful in the quiet, small moments of our lives. Another example is the feeding of the 5,000 in John 6 verses 1 to 14. Jesus took five small barley loaves and two small fish and turned them into a feast for thousands. This miracle started with something very small, but in Jesus' hands, it became something great. Look around you. What small things in your life might God be using to bring about something wonderful? A simple act of kindness, a chance encounter, or a moment of peace in a hectic day. All these can be God's way of showing His love and provision. When you start to notice these small blessings, you build a foundation of gratitude. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have. It opens your eyes to see God's goodness all around you. Psalm 107 verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. A grateful heart is a heart that recognizes God's hand in all things, big and small. So, take a moment each day to reflect on the small blessings in your life. Write them down, share them with others, and thank God for them. As you do, you will find that your hope is renewed, your faith is strengthened, and your spirit is lifted. Remember, God's unexpected blessings often come in the most unassuming ways. Stay open, stay grateful, and watch for His hand in the small things. Isaiah 40 verse 31 offers comfort. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. When you feel weak, remember that God's strength is made perfect in your weakness. When life gets overwhelming and your own strength seems insufficient, it's crucial to lean on God's strength. Think about the eagle, which soars effortlessly on the wind. The eagle doesn't rely solely on its own power. It takes advantage of the wind beneath its wings. Similarly, we must rely on God's power to lift us up and carry us through difficult times. In 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10, Paul shares God's words to him. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Paul then concludes, Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. 
For when I am weak, then I am strong. This teaches us that our weaknesses are not something to hide or be ashamed of. Instead, they are opportunities for God to demonstrate His power in our lives. Additionally, Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. This means that God is always there for us, ready to provide the strength we need. When we feel like we can't go on, we can turn to Him and find the courage and stamina to keep moving forward. Remember the story of David and Goliath. David, a young shepherd, faced a giant warrior with nothing but a sling and a few stones. On his own, he stood no chance. But David didn't rely on his own strength. He trusted in God's power, declaring, The battle is the Lord's, 1 Samuel 17 verse 47. With God's strength, David achieved the impossible. Leaning on God's strength also means trusting in His plan, even when we don't understand it. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 advises, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. When we trust in God's strength and wisdom, we can navigate life's challenges with confidence and peace. So, in moments of weakness, don't rely on your own power. Turn to God. Pray for His strength and trust that He will provide. His strength will carry you, renew you, and help you overcome any obstacle. Finally, Ephesians 3 verse 20 encourages us with these words, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. God's blessings often exceed our wildest dreams. Trust that he has amazing things in store for you. In your own life, you might face situations that seem hopeless. You might feel like you are in a pit with no way out. But remember, just like Joseph, God is working in ways you cannot see. His power is at work within you, orchestrating events and circumstances to bring about His perfect will. Sometimes, God's unexpected blessings come in the form of opportunities. They might be chances to meet new people, start a new job, or move to a new place. Other times, these blessings might be disguised as challenges. It could be a difficult situation that teaches you resilience, faith, and dependence on God. Let me share the story of Ruth. After losing her husband, Ruth remained faithful and stayed with her mother-in-law, Naomi. She had no idea that her loyalty and hard work would lead her to Boaz, her future husband, and place her in the lineage of Jesus. God took her difficult circumstances and turned them into a beautiful story of redemption and blessing. You see, God's blessings are not always what we expect. They often come when we least expect them and in ways that surprise us. But they always exceed our expectations because God knows exactly what we need and when we need it. So, open your heart and mind to God's possibilities. Be prepared for His unexpected blessings. Trust that He is able to do far more than you can imagine. Remember, His power is at work within you, guiding you and preparing you for the incredible things He has planned. Keep your faith strong and your hope alive, for God's unexpected blessings await you. So, don't lose hope. Keep your faith strong. Continue to pray and trust in God's timing. Look for His hand in your daily life and lean on His strength. Expect His blessings, even when you least expect them. In conclusion, remember that God's unexpected blessings are just around the corner. Stay hopeful, stay faithful, and stay connected to Him. Let His promises fill your heart with peace and anticipation for what is to come. Let us now come together in prayer, seeking God's presence and guidance as we reflect on His promises of hope and unexpected blessings. Heavenly Father, in the quietness of this moment, we humbly come before you, grateful for the assurance that your plans for us are plans for hope and a future. We acknowledge, Lord, that there are times when our faith falters and our hope wavers, especially in the face of challenges and uncertainties. Yet, you remain steadfast, 
a beacon of light in our darkness. Today, we lift up each person watching, those who feel weary and burdened, those who are uncertain of what tomorrow holds. Wrap them in your loving arms, Lord, and remind them of your promises. You are the God who sees us, who knows our every need, before we even utter a word. Strengthen our faith, O Lord, that we may trust in your perfect timing and your unfailing love. Grant us the grace to surrender our worries and anxieties to you, knowing that you care for us deeply. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Help us to discern your hand at work in our lives, even in the smallest details, and to rejoice in your faithfulness. As we go forth from this time of prayer, renew our spirits, O God, and ignite within us a fresh sense of hope and expectancy. May your blessings, unexpected and abundant, overflow in our lives, drawing us closer to you and shining your light through us to others. We pray all this in the powerful name of Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer. Amen. As we conclude today, I encourage you to continue journeying with us in faith and hope. If this message resonated with you, and you want to stay connected to more uplifting content and spiritual insights, consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll ensure you don't miss out on future messages of encouragement and blessings straight from God's Word. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post new videos. Share this message with others who may need to hear about God's unexpected blessings. Together, let's spread hope and faith to all corners of the world. Thank you for joining us today.